What's up guys? Today's video, I'm going to be eating and ranking my boyfriend's favorite fast food orders for the entire day. We got Gabe with us. Are you excited to choose the food for the whole day? I am. You're going to be excited. getting all of your favorites. Yep. You want to tell them where we are at first? Mm -hmm. So we are at Dario's. Dario's is uh, one of my favorite spots that I like to uh, to go to. Their food is really good. Their dessert's really good. We'll just have to wait and see what I get. So I've gotten Dario's on the channel a few times, just so y'all know. They specialize in burgers and hot dogs, would you say? Yeah. Kind of like a Chick-fil-A, but not chicken. But they have chicken. It's like good lunch food. Yeah. Okay, well, we're going to pop into the drive-thru. Gabe is going to order his food, and we'll see what we get. Choose Dario. Can they get a name on this order? Um, yes, Gabriel. Uh, what can I get for you? Um, yes, could I do the uh, the two hot dog combo? What would you like on your hot dog? Um, could I do ketchup, mustard, um, chili, slaw, and jalapenos? And your drink? Um, could I do a, a Pepsi, please? Okay, and what else for you? Um, that'll be it. Do you need any ketchup or condiments? Um, ketchup, please, yes. All right, $10 at the first one, though. Thank you. All right, you guys, we've secured our Darius bag. So we're going to get parked really quick, and then I will read off to you guys the receipt, and we will give this a try. So Gabe's favorite Dario order is a two hot dog combo with french fries, a medium drink, and you got Pepsi, and you got some ketchup packets. Total, it was $10. What did you get on the hot dogs again? Uh, ketchup, mustard, slaw, chili, and jalapeno. Okay. All right. So we got some napkins. We got the Darius French fries, which are super delicious. They have the crinkle cut fries, and they're seasoned, right? Mm -hmm. Want one? Fries are very delicious. I love Darius fries. Yeah, they're the best. They're really good with ranch. They are, and ketchup. And I wish you would have got some ranch, but. I should have, but I didn't want to put ranch sauce. And then, cause it's so liquid, there, theirs is kind of like more runny. I know, I love that. I, Whenever I did um, Big Burger Spot, mm -hmm. I brought Dario's Ranch with me and I love it cause it's that thin consistency. And I feel like the thinner ranch always tastes way better. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Okay, we got a Pepsi, so let me give this a try. Okay, I honestly haven't had Pepsi in a while. I've had Diet Pepsi, but it tastes kind of strange. Okay, it tastes kind of strange? Yeah. I don't know. I'm not a big fan of regular sodas. I don't really drink Coke or Pepsi or Sprite. I was on a diet kick. You guys know I love my Diet Coke and Coke Zero, but I had to stop drinking it because it was breaking me out in rashes. So, no more soda for me. I'm sticking with the water. <laughs> Da, 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 da. Look at the hot dogs. Ooh, those look so delicious. They're really good. I do love Dario's hot dogs. I've had them before, but I've never gotten them, I think, with the toppings that Gabe gets. So that'll be a little bit different for me. You like it? Mm-hmm. Gotta open wide. It's a messy hot dog. Mm -hmm. But it's the epitome of a good hot dog it's so good. during the summertime. Obviously, right now, we just, it's not good weather, but it's still a good meal. No, I think their hot dogs are the best hot dogs ever. I mean, I've ordered hot dogs on my channel quite a bit from like different places, but I think Darius is probably the best quality, the best taste. Thank you. Yeah, no. So good. Mm -hmm. One of my fave dish. Are you gonna have this other one? I'll eat mine over the bag. No, 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 not here. <laughs> no, no, no. You take that, cause you're um, you got the steering wheel. I'm passenger princess today. Gabe and I started the gentleman last night. Did you like it? I don't think I really asked you. Yeah. We literally went to sleep like right after the episode finished, but it's so good so far. And it has what, James Franco? Is that who that is? That's not James Franco. That's a dude from the Hunger Games. Oh yeah, you're right. The What's his boy. name? Hmm? hmm? What? Do you say the sexy boy? Yeah. <laughs> you think he's sexy? He's a good looking guy. For sure. Why did I think that was James Franco? That's not James Franco. Nor 
What's the other brother's name? He kind of looks like them, though. No, he doesn't. Yeah, he does. No, he doesn't. I'm going to pop a picture of him and James Franco. We'll see how off I am. I did just watch The Hunger Games. No, not The Hunger Games. He's in Divergent. That's, That's what, what he's is. in. Divergent. Divergent. And, well, you didn't really watch it, but I just watched Divergent. So I knew I recognized him, but for some reason I kept thinking James Franco. I don't know. I don't know why I thought he was in Hunger Games. I guess because Divergent and Hunger Games, they're kind of They're kind of similar, yeah. Well, they're both kind of like that futuristic, dystopian, sci-fi kind of genre. Mm -hmm. We also re-watched Hunger Games recently, too. The first one, right? Well, you watched the first and the second one, didn't you? You were, re you were on like a marathon. Yeah, it was on FX. So at a, uh, from a scale of 110, how do you rate this meal? A 10 out of 10. <laughs> no, there's not a lot of food where I'm like, okay, let's get fast food for dinner because I eat so much fast food for YouTube. I don't really crave fast food. But one of the places we go to that I crave food from is the hot dog combo. Mm -hmm. But I get the turkey dog. That is a difference. I don't get the same toppings and I prefer the turkey dog. What do you I normally mean, get? From Dario's. Mm -hmm. I either get the turkey dog with ketchup, mustard, slaw, onions, mm. and chili, or just, I think, chili and onions. I don't think I get slaw. With french fries, ranch sauce, or I had their wrap that one night. Oh, yeah. That wrap was so good. Yeah, the wrap's good. I like the wrap. That actually may be my new favorite. What? The wrap. Yeah, the wrap. Their good. chicken wrap was so good. All right, you guys. Well, that was Dario's. I'm gonna let Gabe eat this hot dog, and we will see you guys at our second location for more of Gabe's favorite fast food orders. You. Yeah. All right, you guys. The next location is Wingstop. Gabe brought us here to Wingstop. All right, you guys. Here's our Wingstop bag, and then we got a drink. What kind of drink did you get? Uh, That's good. Fruit punch high C. Fruit punch high C. Okay, let me pull up the order and let them know what you got for us. Okay, so we got a large 10 piece wing combo with classic wings. Gabe got the Louisiana rub, which I can confirm you do love the Louisiana rub. He actually put me on to the Louisiana rub. He also got some seasoned fries, a side of ranch dipping sauce, the drink, which fruit punch high C, and then he got a side of you ever had the corn before? Yes. You like it? Yes, I love the Cajun fried corn. I'm very excited. Oh my goodness. Okay. Da, 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 da. Here are the fries. Ooh. Oh my gosh, these look so yummy. Look at that. I think this is the fried corn. Ooh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. All right, last and certainly not least, we have chicken wings oh my gosh those look so good mmm smell them yeah no they smell delicious all right let me open up this ranch mm, get that over here. what all do you eat with the ranch the wings the fries you wings eat the corn the with the ranch now the wings and the fries I'm just trying to channel my inner Gabe make sure I'm eating it like you do yeah you gotta make sure you do mmm Oh my gosh, it's so good. Fries, bussin. The wings, bussin. And the corn on the cob, bussin. And you can't forget the bev. The bevy. It's the bev. Oh my, my gosh, gosh, that's so amazing. I'm trying to think, have I ever gotten these in a video before? You got number four though. I want to say I have. It was so good though. These are a 10 out of 10. Fries in the ranch, 10 out of 10. All right, now let's try the fruit punch high C. I don't like fruit punch. What? No. It's not for me. Dude. It's so good. It's 
especially with the wings. I like Fanta. Maybe like, do they have a fruit, fruit, fruit punch? Fruit punch Fanta. Yeah. I would maybe like that, but yeah, I've never been a big fan of fruit punch. I like fruit punch. Mm. You know, I was going to do PDQ, but they shut down PDQ. Yeah, they shut down PDQ. We had a PDQ that was like 25 minutes away from us. If that. But yeah, they shut it down. They shut all the PDQs down in North Carolina besides the what headquarters and like the flagship store. Yeah. That's, uh, that would be in Concord. Where it's, it's crazy because you said they were always busy. Every time I would go. But I mean, of course, I went through to lunch. Do you want one of these wings? I'm not trying no, to bog them. Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Get you a little sippy sip. I'm only drinking it because there's nothing else to drink. Oh. I can't believe you do not like high C. It's it's just the fruit punch. I don't like fruit punch. I've never been a fan of fruit punch. Not even like when you were a little kid. Uh uh. And they had like those little containers. You remember the container, uh, those little uh, cardboard containers. Mm mm. And they uh, you open up your milk. No, I didn't like those. I did like Capri Suns, mm -hmm. but I only like certain flavors of Capri Sun. Did you ever drink those? Um. It was like a plastic bottle looking drink and it had the little like pop top oh, that you yeah. would pop off. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, the they were like red and blue. Yeah, the cool the Kool-Aid uh, thing drinks. Well, I mean there there was like a cheaper ver like a a cheaper version of, of that. They were kind of similar. Yeah. So you've the had a couple so <laughs> couple of wings. Some fries and some uh, some corn on the cob. Mm -hmm. So what you um, what you thinking? Well, you put me onto the Louisiana rub. I do prefer the lemon pepper now, but I will say they're ten out of ten. Lemon pepper is good. I like lemon pepper, but I just don't like when people go when they crazy. put too much lemon yeah, pepper on it. Yeah, them. I think Wingstop does a good job though. But no, I would give the the wings, the fries, the corn, everything is a 10 out of 10. It's a very delicious order. I, uh, there was one day I was uh, cleaning out my car. I guess I didn't do a, a good job from the previous time. And I found some fries deep under my seats. Yeah, that was back from whenever I had that car. Yeah. But, um... That's funny. But yeah, I try not to eat my cars. Now, if we're on the road, you know, traveling Yeah, you're not or like crazy about it oh crazy about what you're not crazy about not eating in the car like under no circumstances but you try not to yeah yeah like none of this would go down yeah <laughs> in my in my car none of it would go well down. i just got my car cleaned at autobell not that long ago and they did a pretty good job and it's kept up pretty well i haven't dropped anything too crazy but Someone commented and said, dang, how do you keep your car so clean? Well, obviously, it looks clean. Yeah, on camera, yeah. But when you get in that thing, it's a different story. <gasps> it's a different story. If I get the Defender, I can do my muff things in there. You'd have a lot more space. Yeah, I was telling him, well, okay, I really wanted a Toyota Land Cruiser. I tried to look it up. I think it's like the 70 series Land Cruiser, but they don't really release them over here in America. So he was telling me to get a Defender, but all the old ones are manual and I can't drive manual. More G-Wagon. I mean, that's kind of mm -hmm. the same like vibe you're going for. I mean, the Land Cruisers, the Forerunners, the Defenders. Um, the G wagons. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's all a preference, honestly. I mean, it's all in what you want. I mean, they're <clears throat> they all have different styles, and some of them are stick, some of them are automatic. So it's really not that hard to to drive stick once you get aggravated to to using it and dri driving it on a day to day basis. But okay, Wingstop has been completed. Ten out of ten order, except the drink. I give the drink like 
a three out of ten but yeah you guys i will see y'all at the next spot for more of gabe's favorite fast food orders okay so we are at starbucks to get gabe's favorite starbucks drink hey <laughs> Hello. Um, yes, could I do two grande uh, brown sugar shake and espressos, please? Basic. <laughs> yes, ma'am. That'll be it. Thank you. I'm just messing with you. It's not basic. Gabe always gets a brown sugar oat milk shake and espresso, or I did get him on the toffee nut kick. I told him about the shaken espresso with toffee nut and oat milk. So good. Why didn't you get the toffee nut? You well, prefer the brown sugar? That's just, it's just too much to say. Gotcha. Okay, well, if you want to get Starbucks like Gabe, either get the brown sugar or you can get the toffee nut version, which I also like the toffee nut. Okay, well, I will check in with you guys once we get our Starbucks drinks. All right, you guys, we have secured our Starbucks drinks. Got the brown sugar, oat milk, shaken espresso. Ooh. Mine tastes a little, a little off. How's yours? Mine tastes a little off as well. Yeah, I feel like this drink, if the baristas don't make it correctly, sometimes it does taste a little off. I mean, it's not bad. I'm gonna still drink it, but it doesn't have any sweetness to it. Everyone's been wanting me to do Popeyes. Maybe we can do Popeyes together. What do you mean? Like we can oh. do a Popeyes video together. I thought you meant like today. Mm-mm. I mean the, uh, the plan though. What, Popeyes? Yeah. Maybe, maybe you can surprise me. All right, you guys. Well, brown sugar oat milk shake and espresso was a little bit of a fail from that location, but obviously this drink is very tasty if it's made well. Ours just doesn't have any, um, sweetness to it i think we're doing one more place right for dinner yeah okay i will see you guys back here for dinner time all right you guys it is now dinner time and we are at zaxby's that's pretty much all i know i'm not sure what gabe is ordering but he brought us to zaxby's for dinner time so let's see what his favorite order is hey how's it going um yeah can i do the uh the wings and things all right, do you want that boneless or traditional? Uh, boneless, please. All right, that comes with a ranch and that sauce. Is that fine? Yes, that's fine. All right, what well, you want the wings sauce then? Um, can I do sweet and spicy, please? All right, you want to drink to that? Um, I'll do a Sprite. All right, anything else I can get for you? Yes, could I also add a, a large water to that? Is that large water? Yes, sir. All right, anything else? That'll be it. All right, it's going to be 12 at the window. Thank you. Oh my gosh, I'm excited about this food. You know, I'm pretty sure I got this exact order in my video that I did um, my favorite fast food orders. Mm -hmm. I got that exact order. But you also put me on to this. Yeah, I did. Thank you so much. There you go. Thanks so much, man. You too. Okay, camera took a tumble, but we have secured the Zaxby's bag. Super excited about this. Okay, so again, we got the number three combo, which is the wings and thing. He got them boneless, tossed in sweet and spicy sauce with some Zach's and ranch sauce on the side, french fries, a water, and a Sprite. Okay, we have our ranch. We got our Zach sauce. Which one do you prefer, the ranch or the Zach sauce? You asking me? Yeah. Oh, uh, I say the, uh, the ranch but the, uh, the Zach sauce is good with the fries and the uh, chicken tenders. Here we go. Oh my gosh, it looks so delicious. You got a lot of chicken today. Yeah, I did. You didn't get any uh, cheeseburgers. Yeah. No, I didn't. Oh wait, no, this isn't what I got in my video. I just got the boneless wings. Mm -hmm. I'm not a big fan of their chicken tenders, but. What? Okay, how would you eat this? What should I eat first? I just dig in. <laughs> All right, we'll dig into the boneless wing first. Dig in. Tell me what you like. Tell me what you think. Oh, dip it with the ranch, girl. I don't know what you got going on. I like the Zach sauce, but huh. we got to eat it like Gabe, so I got you. You use that for the fries. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> ah. What? I'm good. 
No, you, you don't want it? Not right now. You, you do you. I tap on Okay, the boneless wings are phenomenal. French fries are phenomenal. I feel like your head's cut off. I feel so like small in my seat compared to you. I'm a. I'm bigger up top. <laughs> okay, so you said I need to dip what the chicken tenders and the boneless wings in the ranch. Do the boneless in the ranch. Mm. And then you do the chicken tenders and the fries on the Zaxby sauce. Mm. You get the switch up, you know, the boom, boom. Gotcha, gotcha. I don't eat too much of the bread though, but, um, but yeah. Yeah, I don't really eat the bread either. But the bread's good. You mm -hmm. need to try that big burger spot. Yep, yeah, maybe one day. That place is really good. Yeah, I don't really like their chicken tenders. Chicken tenders are really good. I like their those chicken tenders better than Chick Fil A chicken tenders. Mm mm. Yeah, I think Chick Fil A chicken tenders there. has Spike. the uh, yeah Sprite. I don't think their chicken tenders are good. You want some of the Sprite? Okay. People want to see you eat on camera. How oh, do they? Yeah. Um. Did you? see that thing i don't know if i already asked you about this the girl on tiktok which i didn't watch it on tiktok because obviously i don't have tiktok but the girl who did like the 50 part story time on who the f did i marry did you hear about that Dang. have y'all seen it who the f did i marry it was what was her name risa tisa i think she did a 50 part series story time on tiktok about her ex-husband who was like a pathological liar i think you told me this already yeah 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 but it was crazy because imagine if you ima like let's say whenever we were buying the house that we have when we were going through that process imagine if you were doing it all on your own you were saying that you were gonna um cover the mortgage and you were gonna use your income and you were acting like you were approved for a loan you found a house you uh put it under contract but you weren't actually doing any of that like you were just saying you were mm -hmm. like we toured the house we liked the house i wanted the house and you claimed that you had submitted an offer and the house went under contract but you were just making all that up that's what her ex-husband was doing hmm. and he did it like three different times on three different houses amongst a bunch of other things but that's wild Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I mean, that'd be too much anxiety, though, like, stress and anxiety. Like, imagine lying, saying that you got all of that done when you really don't, and you don't really have any anything to show that yeah. you've gotten that stuff done. Well, also, she's under the impression that, you know, she's getting that house, um, and... I don't see how somebody could lie like that. And he did it with a car too. Like he convinced her that he was gonna get her a nice luxury car. And well, he had her test driving the cars and everything. And he said he was gonna buy her the car, but he actually wasn't gonna buy her a car ever to begin with. And they were married? Mm-hmm. Yeah, she married him. Cause she got pregnant at one point. So she married him. With him. And so he ended up proposing to her. And that's when the lies started coming out. No, he was lying to her before that. I mean, there was a bunch of red flag, a bunch of red flags, but I guess she just didn't quite put two and two together until it really got bad. And at that point, she was already married to him. That's tough. Oh, he also lied about his job. He said that he was the production director of a condiment company. Mm -hmm. Basically, manufacturing companies, they have production. Yeah. He was the production supervisor, mm -hmm. production executive, something like that. But she later found out that he was actually just a forklift driver. Oh. <laughs> not that there's anything wrong no, with there's forklift not, drivers. But the fact that he it's lied big, to that extent. Yeah, it's like, a big difference in those positions. Like, massive difference. Oh. I will say, he. the weird thing is that when they were living together, together starting out in her house because while they were looking for a new house she had a townhouse that they were living in and apparently he was covering all the bills like all of the household bills mm -hmm. she was paying her personal bills but he was paying the household bills that's why she had a hard time believing like is he actually lying about his income because somehow he's paying for um the household 
bills, but you can pay for that off of a forklift salary if you're working full time. I mean, depending on how much. Forklift drivers get paid pretty well at some places. And he said, well, she said it was a major condiment company. Um, but also, he showed her fake bank statements. He said he had multiple bank accounts and an offshore account. He wouldn't ever show her the offshore account, but he showed her apparently fake bank statements. My man was trying to reel, reel, reel her in. He was trying to reel her in. Mm -hmm. Not together anymore? No. No, they ended up... Yeah, she filed for a divorce after, like... There's a lot more to the story. So, she she was making stories on top of stories, knowing that they were... They were lying. already separated. Or did she make... Like, did she make... They recently broke up, I think, last year. Or the year before. Something like that. And she just did the story on TikTok now. Oh, okay. She did a story okay, time. Okay, okay, okay. So, it this was, like was a, after all the events. Yeah. This was all after okay. the fact. So, she hasn't been in communication with him. Mm, watched all 50. Yeah, I watched all 50. It was seven and a half hours long. <laughs> It was kind of like listening to a podcast, though. Goodness. It was really good. I mean, like I said, if you have a good storyteller, mm -hmm. yeah, that's true. it very much like captivates you. Yeah. And you okay. Know what's going I need to stop munching on this. I ate a lot. On a scale of one to ten, I'm gonna give it a seven out of ten, just because of the chicken tenders. I don't like Zaxby's tenders. Their boneless wings are like ten out of ten for an item. The fries, ten out of ten. Zach's awesome. 10 out of 10. The chicken tenders brings this order in particular down. For me, you prefer the chicken tenders from Zaxby's? I'm not a big fan. Yeah. But. I mean, that's fair. You did a very good job today. Oh, yeah. I loved all the food. Nice. Yeah. I am I surprised we didn't get cookout. I should, <laughs> cookout. We should have got Bojangles. Maybe, yeah, so we do, maybe we'll do another one. But we should do a part two. You also didn't get anything sweet. I was also surprised about that. Well, we had the coffee. Yeah, but that coffee wasn't really sweet. Well. I'm just surprised you didn't get like a dessert item. We had a really good dessert at dinner last night though. Okay, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and seeing Gabe decide, or not decide, well, I guess you kind of decide my food. I ate his favorite orders for the whole day. We ranked them. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let us know what y'all think about his orders, which one looked the best. I love you guys so, so much. Please drop a thumbs up down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.